Hello everyone, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching World of Sensors, one of the most unique and one of a kind series using Sensor Shield for Arduino UNO. And I have been using uh, Seed Studios Grow module. It's a pretty fantastic kit, guys. It comes with almost uh, 45 50 sensors and, and the expansion board as well. So, anyway, so let's, let's take a look. So, we are going to see how a relay sensor works so this is how the relay looks above me right if you take out your kit you will find a small black color module which is a relay module which is basically a digital normally open switch which is ncno switch right it works on an electromagnetic mechanism through it through using this particular relay switch you can control circuit of high voltage with low voltage that means you can trigger this particular relay sensor with just about 5 volt sometimes even 3.3 volt and control 230 volt or 110 volt of ac current as a switch inside fantastic isn't it so there is also an indicator uh, led on the board on, on within the sensor which will light up when the control terminals gets closed so let's let's build a very simple program guys so what you need to do so let me just show it to you uh, as per the circuit so I connected uh, two buttons basically, you know, so the relay is connected to D4 of the shield. So this is the D4 port. If you can see it here, uh, take a close look. This is the D4 port and two different LED switch I have connected here, right? So if you see, there are two different switches here in uh, D3 uh, and D2, right? Two different push button switch which comes along with your uh, kit. So this is red and red, this is blue. So basically this switch has got an inbuilt uh, LED as well. So it, it, you know, you, we can build a ton loads of uh, stuff using this. So what we will do, guys, let's, let's move on to the code aspects. So let me just share my screen. Let's go to GitHub. I hope you guys can see my GitHub screen. So if you go to my GitHub, go to lesson number 14. Okay. So I am under section Arduino sensor project in, in that letter lesson number 14. So this is the basic code. Go to raw and then control A, control C and then open up your Arduino and this is the code. So once you load this code, how do you load the code? I showed you many times. Go to tools first, select the board, go to board Arduino AVR boards, select UNO and then go to tools again, select the port COM6. All right, I am in COM6, yours might be different. So keep a note of it. And then you need to click this upload button here. Okay, the arrow button. Once you click the upload button, this is where we will see how the LED gets activated when the when your electromagnetic switch becomes on and off, high or low. Can you see it here? High. Currently it is in high. So if I press this, the red button, there you go. I you can hear one click noise in this relay switch. Can you hear it? I hope you guys can hear it. There you go. And if you look at this particular button, this is the off button and on button. So there are actually ton loads of projects we can make without the button. Also, you can activate with a timer and stuff like that, which we will get into some advanced uh, uh, projects when we get along. So guys, using the relay switch, we can build ton loads of projects, different kind of projects. So if you have some interesting ideas using the relay switch right you know you you can connect the ldr uh, sensor you can connect the pir motion sensor you can connect multiple other sensors to activate your relay switch and control 230 volt ac as a switch imagine the possibilities guys it's just not about iot applications but also in the robotics field or any kind of home automation or factory automation kind of stuff you can build it's pretty easy so i showed you the code i showed you the component how to connect it how to use the expansion board it's pretty simple do get back to me and wait for my next lessons i will see you soon goodbye